You fall, Melon, you you fuck. Ah. Where am I sending him? So no, it's not a bit mate, in comparison to the water. It is. Yeah. Well, yeah. I would say it's that green. I would say it's great. I think you're colourblind. <laughs> or you yeah. just want an excuse to buy it and you went, there's a, there's Edda, a tip. When you tell of someone, that watermelon. When you tell someone. Yeah, so if you guys want to buy this, I've no idea where you can get it. Because you said it. Random on the ghost. Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to wherever you guys are, uh, to the Touch My Clock uh, podcast. Episode 5! Numero 5. Today, what are we talking about? Max, tell us. Rainbows. <laughs> it's had a bit of colour to life. So the idea is to, we're going to talk, each of us, basically, of every single colour of the rainbow, of different kind of price points, and just get a, get a good feel of all colours of everyone watchmaking. And additionally, yeah. there's a spectrum of colors, but also a spectrum of prices. So each one of these watches are going to go from 5K down to 250 pounds. And the order is, Elliot. Red from at memory. <laughs> violet 250. Indigo at 500. Blue at 1000. Green at 2000. Yellow at 3. Orange at 4. And red at 5. What order do you want to do it? From red. Uh, to violet or violet to red? I'll go, we can do violet to red. And I can finish with my wrist check because that starts the the price points. So go ahead. You start. Wristwatch, what are you wearing? That sounds good. Uh, so in the spirit of today's episode, I'm wearing my rainbow strap on a Hantana watch. Hantana watch is another watch that had a watch brand that died after the 1970s, the quartz crisis. So they don't really produce any watches anymore. They're now extinct. However, it, this is my day just alternative. I don't need to spend so much money because it does exactly the same thing as a day just. It gives me the exact same. You don't have the money for a day just. And I have no money because I work in architecture. And uh, no, this is my watch for today. What about you? What well, you? today I'm wearing one of those really, really fun companies that we do don't great, know what this is, by the way. We this do. Is that the, do. This is that do great. Uh, that do great British watches, so and here it is. Um, it is a Mr. Jones. Um, a truly playful, fun uh, watches. So let's just take this one off for you. Uh, this one you could tell the time uh, simply by looking at the sun as it goes round. Um, uh, I will do a little demonstration afterwards. But as we just turn the time around, you can see the sun go. Um, you get this uh, all the way around and you've got the uh, then he comes to the moon uh, and of course real, all of the animals real, all of the animals all know from Mr. Jones all of the animals that <laughs> Mr. come Mr. Jones <laughs> China call not at all Mr. Jones. Yep. not at all uh, they do phenomenal watches at very reasonable oh. prices this is the port uh, they do uh, there are a few automatics as well uh, but you can see the animals coming to the water um, as it turns around oh. the dial um, and of course you've got the animals during the day and animals during the night and the on the back just a little nice touch. It actually turns around and says, Chef! Oh, touch my clock. <laughs> what? So there we go. The uh, first wonderful thing. The actual wonderful engraving. Thing. Wonderful, yeah. Uh, they all engrave, um, they engrave the uh, case backs for you. Uh, for very reasonable. So uh, well done, uh, Mr. Jones. The, the amount of fun, interesting watches and different ways That's to tell the time so uh, is superb. You, so got, you got Mr. Jones to engrave touch my clock on John. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Poochie. Welcome. This is your watch. Let's put it on. Okay, so for me, now we're going all around. So we're going to start off all the colors, because uh, my wristwatch kind of starts with that. And with violet, here's what I have. So this is a Dimitron Super Flat uh, watch. So I got it recently. I got it on eBay. I think I paid something like a tenner for it or something. I don't know. <laughs> I see you get these lots. You hit the two fifty, but wow! You you see these uh, these lots all the time on eBay of a couple of watches, and sometimes I saw it was purple. And I thought, why not? That could be a good lot. So I just bought it. And these are these watch actually goes for it's under two fifty. They go around one hundred to whatever. I guess he's just joining us on the podcast. Yeah. What watch did you bring? <laughs> so yeah, so this is the piece I picked. I think it's really that nice. Violet is just stunning. But you color. don't it see. It just stands out. It's quite unusual. You it's don't very see purple. Style. You don't see purple on many watches nowadays. Oh, what wow. was the light shine like? Nice. So I think it's quite cool. I was full of dust and I cleaned it myself. And if you can see, I'm a terrible watchmaker because I've scratched the dial doing that. But I think it's really cool. I, I'm not sure if it's with the sun or anything that this purple has started to change color. But um, yeah, so if you guys want to buy this, I've no idea where you can get it because. 
You said Brand it. Brandon and the guest. For the right price. To me? No. Would you not? <laughs> no. Mine. It is the perfect design watch. It's that you with Bellis Jones. <laughs> yeah, for Alice. I yeah. can trade it. I'm going to redo up your house. I could trade All it. in purple. Let's talk later. I could trade it. <laughs> <laughs> I could genuinely. I like it. So yeah, this is this was, this was my pick. And this oh, is okay. far below £250. Well, there we are. That was his brief. If you go won. below £250, yeah. below you're 50. Well you've won. Congratulations. It's 10, isn't it? Bang on, bang on. So Absolutely. who is next? So now in we can go. In, in, in the go. Okay. So this is me trying to remember what's the difference between indigo <laughs> and blue. Like the difference dark between... Blue. Exactly. The difference is indigo is a darker shade of blue. So when you think of blue, generally you're actually thinking about indigo. Or when you're thinking about blue, you're thinking about like a, a Tiffany blue or you're thinking about a baby blue. This watch, and I'm not joking about this, I, I want to buy that. Mm. It's one of the... I found it last night as I was researching for today's episode. And I, it's just fantastic. I've always wanted this type of watch from this this family of watches, but I didn't know which one to get until today. This is oh, yeah, yeah, I know that one. the most beautiful indigo dial I've seen in my life. So this is called the Aviation. And so the whole cocktail time collection oh, I by Seiko, there's... I need it. Aviation. We both need it. I mean, buy it and I'll steal it off you. This is inspired by a cocktail. So the cocktail is called the, the Aviation. Cocktail. And uh, it, it's taking from the, the creme de violette that you would use in it. And so it's these hues of blue and violet. And, you know, just before, between violet and between blue is you've got indigo. So I think it's absolutely perfect. The dial, we'll put some images up, up on the screen, but it's just it's unreal. It isn't they just are, pretty just amazing turn. It's right. engine turned, but every etch is slightly yeah. the Facebook and another. All the other cocktail times, they do it like that. And it's, they are unreal. Unbelievable the dials. It, they shine in the light like nothing else. I had one of them, resold it, because of course. It you, got, got, uh, you had a white one, right? Yeah, I had the, the white yeah. one, but it was really nice. But you can get them on eBay for like, 250, 300. Yeah. And this is a 39 and a half millimeter watch, uh, caliber 435, so just a, a solid standard movement. This is specifically the SRP J13, J1. And it just comes at three hundred and ninety pounds new, so just below the five hundred pound mark. Amazing. That's that's my my, my rainbow. My Very rainbow. good. I love that dial effect. Is there? You really need to be close up, but that really, really hurts. Okay, cool. I thought it was real. <laughs> <laughs> the picture was so good. Yeah. I thought I'd get the texture of the dial. No, so now I'd be interested to know because I've actually been assigned blue, blue as well. And so I had a hard time. I was like, right, I picked right. my indigo. I know yeah. what my indigo is. I need to pick a blue watch. What's a blue watch under a thousand pounds? And this might be a little bit predictable, but I do think it's one of the best offerings on the market at the moment. <laughs> now, 12. this is technically 1,050 pounds, but that's because I'm showing it on the bracelet. You can get it for a lesser amount if it's not on the bracelet. So I'm showing this as a reference. Get it on the on the rubber if you do. I see a blue. Know. This is the 12, uh, so 36 millimeters, Salita watch, and... Yeah, it's just great. Uh, we tried it on with Jason. Mm -hmm. We went to, uh, was it a Red, red bar, bar? Yeah, the Red we went Bar. To a red Bar event. And it's not a watch, now this is going to sound silly, but it's not a watch I would buy mm -hmm. for myself because I feel satisfied with that type of watch that I've got in my collection. But for someone that's starting off, if I was to tell them free watches. It's the elevated PRX. Yeah, let's put it that way. It's the adult uh, it's PRX. Unparalleled better mm -hmm. for finishing movement and everything about Christopher Wall. Mm -hmm. So. Everyone should just get one. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, and again, just for people to, to kind of look at it, we were talking about it last night, but if you look at the 12, if you look at the dial, they're basically, the, the, the logo has been embossed and slightly raised everywhere, and it's a level of three-dimensionality that you don't get in a lot of watches for that price. Yeah. But yeah, that's really good. Two blue watches. Much talked about, um, very cool, lovely watches. Very nice. Who's next? What do we have? We have from Memory Green. Ah, oh, so now I have green. Uh, now I have green. Uh, this will be another uh, uh, fabulous <laughs> surprise. I think that you are going to like this yeah, green. Let's get the green, 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 green out. Um, this was something green. that I think is um, oh, uh, right now. It is indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is fast. indeed the talk of the town. It is the watermelon, the studio underdog watermelon. Uh, you know what? This group that really just, it's all about having fun. There's a fabulous little seagull uh, manual wire movement on the back there. 
um, that I think is stunning to look, an exhibition casing, so stunning to look nice. and see. Um, but yeah, we met Richard when we were at that Brighton event with Red Bar. Oh. Um, really passionate. Um, uh, you know, really having fun. And it has got that, you know, chronograph function on it. Um, but, you know, if you look really deeply into it, you've got the seeds of the watermelon. Uh, you've got a little bit of uh, colour in there. Um, and uh, you've got that sort of lime green coming through. That's uh, so cool. It's such yeah. fun. And, of course, you know, much talked about. The, the, the interesting part of the studio underdogs is it's, it's like, like, you know, so I'm trying to find a Rolex. They're really difficult to get. They have really short windows. They're limited supply. And so, therefore, whatever the list price is, it doubles or triples on eBay just overnight. Yeah. And I know they've just reached, uh, launched a, mm. uh, a, new, a, new, uh, uh, a new new watch out just now. Uh, but, but it's a really, really fab, talking, lovely Perfect. talking point. What I like a studio underdog is, I and mean, I showed you this yesterday, is, is they just released their new watch. And because, of course, they sell out instantly and there's so many people reselling it, they have now, Studio Dog is now themselves going on eBay and seeing the listings already mm. of the new watches. Yeah. And they are now going to their orders and cancelling them. Good for them. Yeah. Go on eBay, which is fantastic. Good for them. I think because it's, it's, so it's good. shameful to people to buy or pre order a watch that will be one grand and sell it for two and a half already on eBay. It's the same thing in the Moon Swatch. I think it's just so nice. <laughs> that is a really nice. That's so nice. Again, uh, this guy will just bring watches that we haven't uh, talked about or seen about. <laughs> it's just like it's just for the podcast itself. But uh, no, I, I find it really interesting because um, it's one of you know probably at that price one of the best red watches on the market. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's that green. I wouldn't say it's green. I think you're colorblind. <laughs> or well, you just want an excuse to buy it, and you went there's a. There's a when you tell someone, of that watermelon, when green. you tell someone it's uh, watermelon, what color do you think? Yeah, what's, you don't think of green. Do you? Well, B seem to be green. That red. I actually, uh, I love the fun. I love the fun they the fun they have when they make watches. Watches yeah, shouldn't be cool. too serious. Um, and and you know, Richard was such a lovely fellow. And you need you need to talk to someone. This is one great thing about going to watch fairs is it's more about meeting the people who are making it to get that real connection and understand. And he was so passionate, such a lovely guy. Um, and you know, he talks so passionately about his watches. It just really, really makes you want to want to buy them. And, and, and you did, and I did. Wait, Thank you, Richard. Wait, I'm scared. Wait, if this is your pick for the green one. And you have red, right? Indeed. You get a third one. For red. <laughs> Indeed. Mark. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Okay. So green. What's after green? You need to stop. <laughs> you need to stop. This, this is insane. insane. This is insane. Okay. So <laughs> next is yellow. So and who has yellow? Oh, I have yellow. I have yellow. Oh, so you? I only have two. Really. You have two. Yeah. So uh, I didn't get a yellow watch, but. I got a, a yellow ish watch. Mm. It depends. What do you consider the color of gold? Gold. Yellow gold. Gold is, could be, you know, different shades, but Fair. yellow gold is one of them. So this one is far below the price that we've asked for. If I read it through the notes, uh, I think we needed to find from gold or the gold from yellow. It was 3,000 and below. I, I don't think it's worth getting a fake gold watch if you're not. You know, if you're spending 100, 200, 300 pounds, yeah. fine. If you're going above that, I would never spend a thousand pounds on a watch that looks gold, but isn't gold. I think that's silly because either oh. you respect the material and you understand yeah. the material for what it's worth and you try to get one when you have the finances available yeah. or get a full one, a fake, so a, a fake one for all our non-French listeners, but spend a little bit of money, not too much money. And this is what I'm bringing to the mm. table today. So this is... A That's watch. Yellow, I, think, yeah. I spent fifteen pounds <laughs> on the watch, and then really? 10, 10 pounds on the beads of rice bracelet, and you nearly spent more on the strap than the watch. I nearly spent, yeah, but that's just because I wanted a certain aesthetic. I yeah. wanted that aesthetic of you know the Wolf of Wall Street. Mm. I wanted to have a watch that yeah, feel the, like tag, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm the Wolf of Wall Street. I feel like I'm the king of the world. I bought my yacht, um, and uh, now I have it. I don't, I don't wear it. <laughs> I bought it because I wanted to get that feeling and now that I have the feeling weirdly enough I know it's it's not my style it looks great it's it's a fantastic like watch for the price I mean if it, you can't get the brand is yeah. 25 pounds Caravelle was oh, uh, below us all exactly uh, they they worked together it was a subsidiary so uh, if anyone wants this give me a shout 
I think I'll probably sell it and find a way. I think that honestly, for the condition that I got it for, it's worth a lot more than I pay for it. So, yeah. um, and I'm really happy with it. It's just I, I don't find the time to to, to where you wear it. What, would you guys wear gold watches? Do you wear like how to? Sometimes they're harder to wear, and I think you have to be kind of like wearing dressy. Yeah. As if any other occasion, it's a bit strange to wear. The, the, the Mont Blanc, um, my yeah. grandfather's watch, I'd, I'd wear. Mm. Um, again, for an evening dressing, I think going out is a little pretentious. Yeah, it's, it's a little, little hard. It's not really my... I have a hard time going off. Yeah. Yeah. So that was good. So next we have orange. Da -da -da. And orange, which is, oh below four. 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 So although you can get the new models mm -hmm. for around 2000 the older versions get quite more expensive. And okay. I don't have it here because I'm not that rich. I've like, been buying all the watches. So this is a great book. So I think we have to mention it before I show these pages. Unless we're going to get sued or something. So thank you, Barry. Barry Kaplan. Thank you, Horology. Love the book. Fantastic book. So for Orange, I went with the... Uh, uh, Doxa. Yeah, the choice. Doxa 300. Yeah, so a little bit. Jack Cousteau's first. Exactly. So Doxa was really an amazing brand. They started more or less in the 60s, I think, doing, doing dress watches. And at some point, I realized that they really wanted to concentrate on going on diving. Mm. So they consulted probably one of the best persons you can consult, Jack Bristol, who was like an adventurer, a diver, and he did absolutely everything. And they created this masterpiece of a watch. And the more and more you read about it, Classic. the more amazing you see how many things there are. Because you see yeah. diving watches nowadays, and they just have, you know, a normal buy a unidirectional bezel sure. for the time, and that's it, and there's nothing more. The amount of features that this watch had at the time was incredible. First of all, you have the massive minute hands to be able to read it quicker. You have an, the extra different bezel there for actual decompression time. So if you went 120 feet deep, you would have to wait 50 minutes to, to resurface, basically. Um, the bracelet was, uh, you could change the size of it without tools. It had seven millimeters of micro adjustment. And it was just, it's just unparalleledly amazing. I mean, for all the... For a watch at the time, where all the other watches were basically very basic, the amount of things that this had, it's just truly awesome. And it's incredible, because orange is really, is the it's, color the, flash it's the color that you can really see clearly underwater, which is, which, is, which, is why, which is why it's there. And I love that yeah. US, I love that US um, uh, diver's uh, logo on this. Have yeah. you done tests to see what is the most legible color underwater? Was that why? Mm, must, orange. I think you did, yeah. Maybe. But I don't know. I, I think uh, master scuba diver here. For those who are diving, yep. add it into the comments, your favorite color for going underwater mm -hmm. and how it changes when you're underwater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was my pick for orange. Yeah, totally recommend it. Very good. Well. Great trailer. And the last one we have is red. Okay. <laughs> if you so bought red for five grand. It's so red. Uh, well, actually, uh, yes, it did. But you've seen this. It's been on the collection for a long, long time. Uh, um, uh, I, uh, no, I, I was so excited. I, I <laughs> love my... Uh, this is a shop art, uh, Mini Miglia, obviously uh, named after the race. Um, uh, bright red dial. And the idea was that when you're wearing this on your on your wrist and you're driving along, you could see the white hands against the red really easily as, you, as you're going really, really fast and bumping up. Uh, the design touches I just adore about this watch is is, is in, instead of the power reserve, uh, which is showing you, um, you know, how it's wound, um, it's got a fuel tank, uh, which I think yeah, is really cool. And the Milli Miglia sign showing which way the race is going um, uh, with that little date window there, I think is superb. Uh, the strap, of course, is mimicked from a uh, from a racing tire with the you know 1,000 mm miglia, um, that fabulous uh, race um, that they, uh, they they pulled off. Um, and it's their own movement, you know. Shop Art. Have you their own with that watch? Have you used that? I have used that. I actually took a Fiat 500, okay, <laughs> and I wore that watch and I repatriated the Fiat 500 from London mm -hmm. all the way through to Paris, outside of Paris, and um, through uh, the oh. demonstrations and strikes. Drove it down to the south, to Brie Contrebert, drove it to Lyon, uh, and then together we drove it down to Milan uh, and down to uh, down to Rome itself. So we recreated it, and I was wearing oh, the Shop Art Mini Miglia yeah, as we were hooting down on this fabulous open top little Fiat 500, getting itself back to you for your uh, new role in Rome. Yeah, it is a really nice watch to be honest, and I love all these watch brands who do kind of driving style uh, watches mm. and what they can kind of invent, especially the fuel gauge and. And the, the tire shaft and everything, I think it's pretty nice. Yeah, there's very little like there's very little space for a bit of fun in watches when yeah. it comes to the dials and the indications. Autodromo, for instance, no, uh, and they do they have the same same kind of aspect. I would get an Autodromo actually if if I was really passionate about cars and yeah. vehicles and mechanics. It's yeah, it's quite fun. 
Is it, does the bezel turn or is it a fixed? No, it's fixed. It's a fixed bezel, but yeah, it, it's got 100 meter water resistance, which, which for a driving hotch, um, yeah, it really oh, you is. Know. Well, it's not, if, if you, you crash and, you then, crash. <laughs> and then you get in Monaco, river, uh, with at least Monaco and you go over Oh, yeah, here. that's true, actually. Yeah, you yeah, after, and you'll be fine. Double too many bottles of uh, Laurent Perrier. But, you've uh, now uh, yeah, absolutely. justified the purchase. Mm. Absolutely, indeed. So there's the red color. And there we go. That's all the colors. There go. Do you guys have one from this list that you think, for the price, is the best value? Value mm. for the price. What would you say? It's for a tenner now. No, I think you have to win that for ten pounds. But um, <laughs> for, for such a I don't know, that that really sort of you know translucent um, uh, violet color, I, I think you probably you get the prize for that. It's very hard to lose. So the moral of the story is: spend the least amount of money. Could and be in the spectrum of colors. We presented watches that range from ten pounds up to a couple thousand pounds, mm -hmm. and you're saying your favorite one is the one worth ten pounds. Indeed, although yeah, yeah. I'm really honest, you know, of course I'm kind of influenced by my own watches. The green um, watermelon. Um, the, you know, the green watermelon. Yeah, I love just, the know. red watermelon. Uh, that's just, my favorite red watch. Just, yeah, just, just today with the green. But that is, I think for the price, that, that's the one of the best. Being back. And I think, you know, they, that these lists for 500, clearly, if you, unfortunately, if you want to really get hold of one and you're not on the waiting list, you're going to be spending double that. Um, as very yeah. similar to it. I can't to, believe you got Very it. similar, so very similar to a Rolex, but, uh, you know, truly, truly um, uh, fun, fun. You selling it any time soon? It's fun. Watch it. Well, you also two and a half thousand pounds. <laughs> Idiot, I've got it. Not mine. No! I think it just proves that you can have fun and be interested in horology without spending hundreds of thousands of pounds, yeah. tens of thousands, or even yeah. thousands. Um, and, you know, for a few hundred pounds, you can get yourself some really fun, interesting, very well-made um, uh, uh, and superbly finished watches. Mm -hmm. I agree. Awesome. That closes it up. It does indeed. Like, subscribe, comment, ask questions. See you soon. Thanks all. See you. You b bought a watermelon. You bought a watermelon, you b. You b ah. We don't mind sending me in. So, no, it's not a little bit in comparison to the water. It is, but. Why yeah. did you buy that? Wait, how do you. Do you did you buy more? Well, these two. Sort of no, that's it. Of course you bought more. No, that's it. Oh, God, your mouth. That's it.